Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. Today's video is a follow on from my previous video all about how to wear red and mini masterclass. I'll pop that video up here. But a lot of you were asking how would I pair red with another color? So that's what I'm gonna talk about here today. Before we get into that, can I please ask you to like this video if you enjoyed it or learned something new. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and maybe even consider giving some super thanks and I would be super grateful. If you're interested in any of my services or online courses you can find out more on my website thestylecoach.ie. You can also follow me on Instagram at thestylecoach.ie and all the links are down below. Let's get started with today's video. The first thing I want to point out about pairing colors together is that it's not really enough to say okay let's pair red with purple for example because we know, especially if you've been on this channel for a while, that there are many different types of red and many different types of purple. The intensity can be different. The temperature can be different. The amount of value in that color can be different. So I would suggest trying to match those qualities up. Now, if this is all new to you, that's all right. I'm gonna give you some examples. So many of you will know already that I'm part of the winter season. So that means my colors are made up of a combination of cool colors, quite vibrant colors, and some deep colors as well. So let me take my red coat here, for example. Now this is not just any red, it's a true red. So it's on the slightly cool side. It belongs in the winter family. It's quite a vibrant red. Uh, there's kind of a mid range of depth in it, okay? It's not too dark. Uh, and of course, it's not too light either. So the key here is matching the this coat, this color red, with the same intensity, same temperature in other colors so that we match them pretty closely together. So I'm gonna give you some examples within the winter category, but of course I'm gonna show you some from other seasons as well so that you get the idea of what I mean. One of my favorite combinations at the moment to wear with this coat is purple. Now, this is gonna to appeal to a certain type of style personality. If you're more on the classic side, you'll probably look at this and go, you know what, that's just too loud for me. It's too busy, too many colors, even though it's only two, I get it. If you're more classic orientated, you'll probably want to pair this red with a neutral. So that's where your level of um, style personality also influences how you're gonna pair your red with anything else. For me, I'm more dramatic, I like this combination, and you'll see that the strength of the purple matches the strength of the red. So it's not like one of these colors are weaker, they match quite well together, that's why it works. When I think about this color combination of red and purple, I think of Princess Diana, she kind of wore this uh, beautiful combination, as did Meghan Markle many years later, but it's a wonderful combination, and I think if you wanna make an impact and you enjoy color, this is a great way to do red plus a color. Another combination that I really like with red is red and turquoise. Now, if we think about the color wheel, red is directly opposite to green. Now, this can come across a little bit festive depending on the type of red and green you go for. <laughs> so you wanna be careful maybe at the time of year or the, uh, the quantities of red and green that you put together. Sometimes it's better to have a larger quantity of one color and a smaller dose of another to make it uh, more wearable, I suppose, and uh, have the attention on just one color. I'm gonna show you with this turquoise scarf here. This turquoise scarf, it's not as clear or as strong as the red itself. And it looks okay, but I think something that has a little bit more punch to, to the color would actually work better with this red. You could use something like this emerald green in a smaller dose. Now you see the way the red and green starts to look a little bit festive. So you want to be careful how you pair your red and greens together. This kind of deep blue green is actually a better match, I think, and less festive because it's moving into a more blue green, which I think takes away from that uh, holiday feel. So this is quite nice. Now you could use this in a very small dose in terms of, you know, a pop of uh, color in an earring could work really well. Uh, or you can do, you know, a whole blouse. It depends how brave you want to be with your color combinations. But I do love this kind of turquoise aqua color with red. My next suggestion might be a little bit of a controversial one. It's a color clash. So I think pink and this kind of fuchsia pink from winter 
against red can work well. Again, this comes down to style personality. If you're classic, if you're a little bit romantic in your style, this may not be for you, but if you're more creative, more dramatic, this could appeal to you. I think there can be beautiful combinations of red and pink together. It's not so obvious, it's not expected, and therefore it can feel quite modern. So definitely something to consider if you want to kind of push those boundaries in terms of what's acceptable. Blues and navies can look really well with red. Um, I would say I'd, I'd probably lean into a navy more than I would a blue, only because on the colour wheel, if we think about triadic colours, red, blue and yellow are our primary colours. When we put these colours together, it can feel quite childlike and perhaps um, feel like you're kind of a children's TV presenter <laughs> because those primary colours are often associated with uh, children and, and that kind of thing. So I would be cautious about pairing, uh, particularly if you went for those triadic colours of adding yellow in as well. Uh, I would be, you know, I may not go there, but uh, certainly navy and red could appeal to somebody who's more classic in their style. It's less shocking to the eye, perhaps more acceptable. Um, and so, yeah, navy and red is an absolute, you know, it's a safe place. If you want to start adding combinations of colours together, it's a very safe place to go. And I'd say navy is probably better than black. When black is paired with a colour, it can, it can kind of kill the colour a little bit. Whereas if you take black out of the equation, add in navy, add in white, it tends to lift the other colour a little bit. Do you see black against that red? You know, the colours are looking a little bit flat. Now, don't get me wrong, I've been known to wear a full black outfit and this red coat over the top, and I like it. Black is in my colour palette, I'm okay with that. But if that's not, if black is not in your colour palette, it can be difficult to pull off, I think. It can start to look a little bit heavy and uh, lose the vibrancy of the colours, uh, particularly if you're not a winter. I'm going to jump into some warmer colours now, just so you get a sense of the difference and how mixing uh, cool colours with cool colours is better than uh, mixing a cool colour and a warm colour together. They they're two different families, they tend not to go so well together. So I've taken this bittersweet red from autumn. There's a little bit more warmth in this now, a little bit more um, uh, orange tone to it. It's also a little bit more muted than the previous red that you saw in my coat. So in that case, I'm also thinking of choosing warmer colors to pair with it, as well as a little bit more muted colors. So take this teal, for example. So this could be your kind of combination of that uh, red and green, which feels less festive with the teal you'll see. It's certainly a very nice combination. Again, I'd probably choose one of these colours as a dominant colour and then slip in this colour in a smaller dose. It's just easier on the eye. When we've got equal measures of two colours, our eyes are kind of drawn to, to both things. We generally want one thing to focus on in an outfit. Having too many things, it kind of confuses the eye, not so pleasing on the eye. So better to keep it one focus and then add in smaller doses of something else. Again, staying with warmer colours, we've got this deeper tomato red now and you can see it paired with forest green. <laughs> now we're going back to that festive look. Although the colours are warmer than our winter colourings, it's definitely giving uh, Christmas vibes to me. Now, again, you need to be careful about how you pair these. And so I'd probably move away from this very combination. It can look well, again, depending on your proportions of how much color you use, but I would be cautious with this. We could do that purple and red combination again. And you see how we're moving in towards the warmer colors. We could even choose this deeper eggplant color. And you see these colors start to work much better. Um, keeping in line with all the warmer colours together and not mixing in cool and warm. And just to give you an idea of colours from spring, so these are going to be more vibrant, they're still on the warm side, but you can see how these worked very well together. So we've got this Ferrari red over here and again moving into this kind of uh, turquoise colour, which I think is just a beautiful combination, less festive than our forest green before, much more wearable. I think that's a wonderful combination. And just to show you those primary colours together, do you see how um, 
childlike it feels to have red, blue and yellow as a pairing, I would be hesitant to go down this road in an outfit. I, yeah, I'd be cautious about it. You could do maybe the two colors together, but the three of them uh, together, it feels a little bit childlike. Now, of course, you could go for a really uh, brave option, I would say, in an outfit. Go head to toe in red. Keep it monochrome. Now, this makes an impact. We saw recently the Princess of Wales, uh, Kate Middleton, wearing a beautiful summer red. Now this is kind of a watermelon red. Someone sent me a message about this picture actually and they said, is this, I see the color before I see her. Now keep in mind, when you wear head to toe red, you're going to see the color first, no matter who you are, no matter the contrast in your features. You know, you don't dress head to toe in red and expect not to see the color first. So she was there making an impact. But if we look at the impact of the color onto her face and her features, it's beautiful. It was a very good choice for her features. It is a summer red. It's like a watermelon red, a little bit on the light side. It just complements her beautifully as a summer. So let's look at a combination of reds here. These are all cool reds and you could wear this head to toe. You could keep it all in the same tone of red or you could mix in different tints, shades and tones of red to have a tonal outfit which, which looks amazing. But you gotta be pretty brave, I think, to wear a head to toe red outfit. If you wear it, you're gonna be seen. You could do the same thing with your warmer reds. Again, I would say if you choose warm, stay warm. If you choose cool, stay cool. Um, from there, you can kind of mix in the intensity, if you like, the different tints and shades that you have in a color. That's how light and dark a color is. But a full red outfit can look amazing. So those are my favorite red combinations for outfits. Let me know what yours are. That's it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next week. Take care.